Welcome to Extended Family Living Homesteading on an Acre. This week's episode, Tilling, Kindling, and More. Filmed, edited, and produced by Michel Gonvier. Music, Blue Mountains by Gabrielle Witcher, and Sierras by Orchard Heights. Here, Etienne and AJ are working on expanding our garden. This year, we're planning on growing more of our own produce, and we need more garden space. Here, they're using a hose to do the measuring. Now, Etienne's back on the tractor. It's a small estate garden tractor made for lawn and garden, very old one. And here you can hear the sound of him using it as he's rotisilling the garden. Did you hear that strange squeak noise with that? His belt just slipped. So now he's getting off the tractor, for those of you who can't see what's going on. And he is starting to work on putting the belt back on. There's a belt that helps run the rototiller. The rototiller is where it digs up the soil and makes it so that we can use the soil for gardening. For those of you that can't see what's going on. Now I go to a view of the ducks and chickens. Now it turns back on the tractor. AJ has been learning how to help him put the belt back on. Sometimes it takes two people to do it. AJ may look like he's doing nothing, but he's actually doing something. He's there keeping an eye out on the belt that's on the rototiller and the tractor to make sure that if it slips, he can help put it back on. This is cutting down on the time that it's taking to do the rototilling by having him help with putting it back on. Here you can see AJ helping Etienne with putting the belt back on the rototiller again. This happened several times while they were doing the rototiller. Back inside. 
Yeah. Lunch. Mm -hmm. That is very tender. Very stringy. Mm -hmm. Stringy is not hard. Mm -hmm. Try to pull it back the other way. That's not hard. Look, it's just, that knife is dull and it's slipping right through. I don't know. I think it's Making it a bigger, huh? Yep. A lot bigger. I gotta have them go out past the blueberries, too. We'll do that as another patch, I think. Right now, he's turning Salt. around in between the blueberries. Salt. I think it needs salt. You want to try it? Sure. Mm, 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 mm. That would work a lot better if you just took the sod out. That's not hard. My goodness, that's delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. The thing I was just talking about was beef roast that we had for lunch. Mom had cooked it and it came out absolutely perfect. It was one of those melt in your mouth type of beef roasts. Now you're looking at everybody being outside. Well, I've got Mom, Etienne, and AJ again working on the tractor because it had issues again with that belt slipping off. Here mom has got a hoe and she's going to start picking rocks out of the garden. Just like any old garden in New England, we get a lot of rocks. It doesn't matter how much you rototill. So we always have to go in and take more out. It was common in the 17 and 1800s and early 1900s for people to have stone walls in New England. They built stone walls to separate the pastures, to put as borders for their property, even made stone houses because let's just face it, New England has a lot of rocks. So of course you gotta use them for something because you can't put them on your neighbor's land. That wouldn't be too nice. I can't hear what's being said out there because, you know, they're outside, I'm inside. I can hear it if you're talking. Well, <laughs> trying to talk over the top of the machine. More like yelling, but not in a yelling way. Well, here comes Dad looking to see what's going on. AJ's been a great help. Sorry about this to my blind and visually impaired viewers, but I am unable to tell you everything that's going on in this video. Because frankly, I can't see everything that's going on in this video. <laughs> I may have done the video work, but that doesn't mean I can see everything that's happening. Okay, the kitchen is an absolute disaster because we've been working on planting seeds. We've got milk jugs. Use them for planters when we run out of planters. Like I didn't have enough, you know, I couldn't find my plant pots. So I used these for starting seeds. Um, there are a few dirty dishes laying around. Mom already made lunch. Uh, it looks like she stopped working on cleaning because she had other stuff to do. Is she? She has a few sewing jobs in to do, so she sews. So while I wash dishes and clean up the kitchen, I'm gonna let you
you guys see what's going on outside. Here you're seeing mom and AJ and Etienne all working out in the garden. As Etienne's rotor killing, mom and AJ are picking out the stones and the rocks and making sure that things are out of his way. The next day. Here you see my mom and my dad working on cutting down kindling. They're not using a typical saw that most people would use for doing this job, but it works for my dad. And it makes it so that he can work on cutting the kindling. If you ask me, I think it's pretty ingenious. I will. a couple inches. I came in that and gave them fresh water. He gave them fresh drinking water. I gave them uh, fresh, well, we gave them fresh swimming pool water. He made sure they had food. He made sure that other birds had food and water, the chickens. Now it's watering the garden. In these three raised beds, we currently have radishes. At least they're planted. Huh? Right now I'm on the beach. Oh, that's right. We have another garden in here. This is where the truck was, right? Well, this is beside where the truck was. Oh, okay. So what do you got that you're, you're watering beets over there? This is beets here. Really need drip irrigation. Really need drip irrigation. What happened to all your drip hoses? Well, I have them. They do put down a lot of water. Not more than what we want. Oh. Yeah. You can't regulate it? You can if you got the um, stuff to turn them on and off to it automatically and check the. Um, let's see. It's too close for Jack. Flat might work. Yeah, flat works really well. the ducks. The white one is a Peking, the other two are khaki campus. The third duck is in the brooder sitting on her clutch of eggs. And here are the chickens. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.